Hello and welcome to our talk. My name is Roger Kokos and I'm from Canvas Multimedia, an ODA partner from the Netherlands. For this task, we have teamed up with our strategic ODA partner DreamBits Technologies, who are located in India, and PayPlaza, also from the Netherlands. PayPlaza takes care of the payment transaction and card acceptance functionality. And I will do my best to introduce you to our cross-border payment solution for Odoo. I'm presuming that you are somewhat familiar with Odoo and the Odoo point of sales module in particular. At the close of the talk, there is a Q&A session and feel free to contact us anyway so we can address any further questions you might have. We will briefly cover the technical setup. This will give you a better understanding of the process. The proof is in the pudding though. The demo will cover all the steps of a payment transaction. We will also glance at the administrative side. When receiving payments, it's quite important. We will also outline the importance of receipts and so on. Depending on your functional requirements, there are various hardware options, like fixed payment terminals and mobile options. Although we are offering a international payment solution, there are still some regional differences. And we end this session with a Q&A. To answer all your questions, I will be joined by Jan Hendriksma, Strategic Partnerships Manager of PayPlaza, and Karan Shah from DreamBits Technologies for any technical answers. So, it's time to get things going. Allow me first to explain a bit about the setup. The point of sales app is to pivot connecting inventory purchase orders, etc. Our add on focuses on the electronic payment option for the Odoo POS module. POS systems usually are a combination of several hardware components. For this demo, we will only use a touchscreen and a payment terminal with an integrated receipt printer. The primary objective is to facilitate a safe and secure payment option. PayPlaza has comprehensive cloud-based payment solutions. Their proprietary software solution offers safe payment options for point-of-sale systems, but they did not have a solution for Odoo available. Without running into too much technical detail, they install fully licensed and certified custom software on the payment terminal that responds to secure inquiries from the cloud system. The payment terminal gets a unique identification code and only needs to be available in your local network and have access to the internet. So there is no need for the shop location to have a fixed IP address. Odoo point of sale runs from a browser, so any device that is capable of displaying a website with a reasonable screen resolution will do. Now comes the difficult part. Well, it was for us and luckily you will not have to go through this to let Odoo communicate with the PayPlaza cloud system. This communication requires an HTTPS connection, but to be frank, that is a standard requirement these days, as most modern web browsers will even stop working properly if it's not present. The Odoo terminal needs to be in the same subnet as the payment terminal. That way they can operate behind a firewall. When a payment request from Odoo is made, the request will be sent to the PayPlaza server. The transaction is negotiated between PayPlaza and the payment terminal. Odoo will receive the transaction result from the PayPlaza server. To be clear, Odoo does not communicate directly to the payment terminal. There is no physical cable connection between the point of sale terminal and the payment terminal. The model we are using in our demo setup uses a power supply cable and a patch cable that plugs into your switch or router. Our add-on adds extra features to the point of sale app. I will now run you through it in this short demo. The payment terminal is shown picture in picture and the transactions are real time. I will start up the point of sales app and load a session. I will be your cashier for today. And we are going to sell you this beautiful chair. I'm going to choose payment. Here you see the payment option card. We're going to say this customer wants it. 
payment terminal wakes up I'm going to use contactless NFC tap hopefully the payment terminal accepts the payment which it does Odoo is getting the payment success message and we can validate the payment now here you see the regular Odoo receipt and we can also have this extra option which is show pay plaza receipt which you can print if need be now the advantages of the print screen it shows you a bit better what is on the receipt the ECR is the name of the terminal you use to pay the payment option is there in this case contactless you can even see the MasterCard OmniPay is the processor and not unimportant here you see the amount of the transaction and here is the reference number which corresponds with your Odoo sales order number right and like I showed you before we've used NFC tap now if we make an order where we buy something that is over the 20 euro limit um, you cannot pay here in the Netherlands with uh, just tap you need a confirmation so we're gonna send the payment request the terminal wakes up I'm gonna try and pay with the contactless card but it tells me to enter my pin so I will enter the pin press OK and hopefully the payment is accepted now the receipt is being printed Odoo is getting the transaction result and we get the payment successful and therefore we can validate the payment right it's as simple as that now the extra option in this screen is here in the top there you can see the um, payment terminals and you can choose any payment terminal that's available in your network for this uh, shop and the advantage is if you like in the hospitality business then you can choose uh, which waitress can go to which client or table to pay so that's a handy feature I will close this session and quickly run you past some uh, settings that we've added therefore we first have to validate the uh, sales session and here in the configuration screen there are a couple of new menu items uh, one of them uh, payment methods is already present normally um, here with card you can choose which card and you can also choose which terminal is connected to this card so here you can see uh, the two available cards in the network now if you press here you get actually to the same screen as if you would add terminals for this demo I've only got two connected but um, basically if I go to the terminal screen um, if you want to add a new one you enter the enter a uh, valid ID now it's important that it is valid because you can only connect um, genuine numbers to the pay plaza system you choose the card option and that's basically it um, I can try to connect but it's not going to find this system uh, but what it will do when it's connecting it will find the local IP address in your local network and it tells you which port it uses to communicate and that's basically it and um, this local network ID is then connected between the Odoo point of sale app 
and the Pay Plaza server, but this is not a external IP address, this is a local IP address, and we only use that to communicate between uh, point of sale and the uh, wake up notification for the terminal. And that's basically it for our system. I can make it a lot more complicated than that, but this is basically a quick overview of all the settings that are there. When you install our app, or after you've installed our app, um, you will find the module in the App Store and it's complete with uh, all the necessary details and a quick reminder of how to do the settings. It's a nice thing to have, You're fairly standard with Odoo, but even so, it is complete. And the last part of the demo is about the administration section. And here we've added in the order menu an entry for the PayPlaza transactions. And when you click on that, you see a nice overview of all the records that involve the payments. If you click on one of the entries, you see it, and it actually includes a terminal receipt. And this system has been used for testing quite a lot. If for whatever reason a receipt is missing or not present, you have here the button to fetch the receipt. And when you click on that, it will actually tell the PayPlaza system to fetch the receipt. That's the button promise. But you don't have to leave Odoo whatsoever in the slides. Now the only thing is this screen will have to refresh before you can see it. But if you give it a couple of seconds and you press on the entry, you can see the receipt has already been retrieved from the PayPlaza server. So all in all, that's quite neat. You can uh, export uh, files and that will make reconciliation easier. And if need be, we can make a custom app that actually uh, deals with all the settings for the acquirer or processor. And that concludes our demo. By using the single payment infrastructure of PayPlaza for point of sale, in all the countries where card payments are processed, you will finally be able to standardize your card acceptance for all your point of sale systems. The PayPlaza technology and the point of sale card payment terminals operate via a single Odoo POS integration for all cards, languages and currencies in all countries. PayPlaza therefore enables centralization and reductions of connections and in doing so saves costs. The hardware options from PayPlaza are quite wide. Um, the terminal we've been using is a very standard terminal. Um, the receipt printer is optional. The advantage is though that there is no lag in communication so therefore we advise this for especially small stores um, you know to have the printer there that saves you from investing into a separate printer um, the the unit can be used uh, wireless uh, with the gsm card there are uh, handheld devices and especially handy for the um, when you're in the hospitality business there, there are tablet options that you can run the point of sale system on and uh, accept payment cards so you can use that to do the orders and the payments oh thank you for your time this concludes our talk and if you need to reach us my contact details are on the screen Thank you and stay safe.
Hello, everybody. Um, so we will start now uh, the Q&A session uh, in presence of Roger uh, and some of other of his collaborators. Um, so uh, just in case, Roger, maybe that uh, if uh, we don't have enough time to answer to all of the questions, maybe that uh, we will ask you to switch in another room uh, if you have a little bit of time to, to answer to, to the other questions afterwards. Um, so, um, I will start the Q&A, so I will check a little bit the question that we, we got during the chat uh, for your presentation. Um, the first one uh, comes from David van Stralen, uh, and David is asking if uh, there is a European solution or uh, it can be used between Canada and USA. Um, well. Uh, we did say that our talk was cross-border, so yes, you can use it between different regions. But luckily, um, Jan Hendriksma from Pay Plaza has joined us, and I would like to pass these questions to him because he knows all about these regions. Yes, well, <clears throat> with Pay Plaza, uh, we uh, have a payment uh, gateway, a payment platform. Uh, which can be connected to uh, several acquires and processes. We already have one route with, uh, with the United States that's in place, uh, Canada currently not, but that's more uh, a question of um, uh, which, which processes and which acquires uh, will be used. So, uh, basically, we're now more focused on, uh, on Europe uh, but we have some uh, clients all over the world, um, uh, on every continent. But then it not only depends on the terminal, but also on the transaction processing and the contract that uh, needs to be fulfilled with that. So that's a separate issue. So yes, it is possible, but uh, we... No. It's... no. We, we lost you a little bit. Can you maybe just repeat the end of your sentence? I think we lost the sound on Jan. Yeah, it wow. seems. Maybe that, uh, I don't know, we lost the sound, it seems that, um, maybe that, um, I don't know if yeah, there was something else to specify. Can you hear me now again? Ah, yeah, we, you're, yes, you're yes. finally back. <laughs> All, right. All right, I don't know what happened, but my... Uh, That's unfortunately my, what it uh, happens sometimes when we are in direct, but no worry, you are back, it's the, it's the most important then. <laughs> yes. So we so, just uh, lost the, the last sentences that uh, you, you were telling, so... So we have an international uh, uh, solution, which is uh, now uh, basically focused on, the, uh, on Europe, uh, but we also have uh, some clients working all over the world, and then uh, it really depends on uh, the transaction uh, processing contract that uh, the client has and uh, whether we can uh, establish a connection uh, with that. Currently, we do not do uh, a lot of business in, uh, in uh, North America, but uh, there are possibilities. Okay, it seems that I have also some people from South America that uh, that seems to be interested by your solution. So, <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, I have another question. Um, do you need Odoo on premise server or Odoo cloud? Ah, um, no, it, it works on any Odoo for the moment. It's just we're working on the versions. Uh, we like to support all the way back to 10. But uh, I will have to look nicely at Karan. He he's more into that. But uh, it works on premise. It works uh, on on cloud solution. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, so it seems that uh, I don't have uh, any other questions uh, regarding the the solution you are proposing. So uh, maybe that you would like to mention something else uh, in extra regarding the solution that you're proposing uh, regarding the cross-border payment solution for POS? Well, yeah, the, like I mentioned in the talk, the advantage with the Pay Plaza system is that once you've got Odoo set up, uh, you don't need 
I mean, I understand that Jan is, is very careful in his um, uh, regions, but the advantage is once you've got it set up, the system is working, and it's just a matter of depending on the client's contract, whether we can um, offer them the solution. But technically, there is no reason why it would not work in any country. I mean, I hope I don't take it off of Jan too, uh, <laughs> too much, but it's, uh, yeah. And the other advantage is that the, the, the terminal hardware is quite wide. There is a good range. So yeah, it gives plenty of possibilities for the, uh, shop environment, but also the, uh, um, you know, uh, bistro, pizza, hut, whatever uh, environment, uh, ho hospitality, uh, I think is the correct English word. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite flexible. And uh, for us with the, uh, with the software as well, um, Odoo has changed a lot. And especially in uh, version 14, we have seen a lot of improvements. So we are working hard to get it uh, since 14 is released to get it working on that as well. But we don't so far have seen any technical issues. Uh, and uh, our solution works uh, at the moment on enterprise, but also community edition. So uh, I think for a, a lot of markets, there is a uh, mm -hmm. good chance of giving a uh, option. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your reply, Roger. Um, just one extra question maybe from my side. Um, can you maybe tell us how many persons are already using your, your application? Um, we, we have got it in test in, uh, in three locations. Um, we literally have got it through certification about a week ago so no we can't really say we've got thousands of customers yet it's mm -hmm. quite new for us for odoo we've been working on it for a year to make it very safe and secure so we use the uh, odoo experience as the launch moment mm -hmm. so if you're asking for references then uh, at the moment it's it's about three or four that's that's it and it's, it's a good it's a good start already and uh, i guess that's yeah. for sure with the with the launching of the of the new version and the Odoo experience, probably that now uh, you will have some more people that will be interested to test your solution then. Exactly. That's what we hope. Yep. Um, I'm checking if I have some other question. Yeah, it seems that I have some other question. Um, in regards to security, uh, how do you ensure protection for the end user, private card, data info, etc.? Um sorry the the, the the you mean the, the the acquirer bit or the odoo privacy privacy bit um it's not uh, i think that they didn't precise exactly the question uh, it's a question from gary um so can you maybe precise the question gary if you're hearing us or maybe during the time maybe uh, he will yeah. reply um, <laughs> okay, well, technically, um, the PayPlaza service is very robust. We, we can't do a lot with it. We don't really send inquiries. We just send from the Odo Post system. Um, we say somebody wants to pay some amount, and then the PayPlaza system queries the terminal with the amount that we give and they actually check uh, on their system whether it is uh, possible to make the transaction and Odoo only gets the answer the transaction is successful or the transaction fail. Mm -hmm. There is no actual communication between Odoo or PayPlaza as in uh, financial transactions. Okay. Maybe maybe Jan can explain it better than me but mm -hmm. we... Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, well, sorry, just before to, to go further, it seems that Gary is speaking about the card holder information. Yes, and that, that's always uh, the case. Now, there's a distinction uh, between Odoo and the card payments, and uh, the card holder uh, information that's all strongly regulated by the payment schemes, so MasterCard and Visa, and it's all uh, regulated uh, through the payment card industry. And then particular for the cardholder information, it's the data security standards, and we uh, comply with all those uh, standards. 
So there is there is no uh, real uh, cardholder information which goes over the line. It's all encrypted, and uh, yeah, nobody can uh, can uh, get that. And Odoo as the the, the um, as the ERP system doesn't get any information from the from the payment systems. Okay. If I may, if I may just add a few things in this, uh, what Yen is saying. I'm, after that, uh, uh, so sure, can you? Yeah, we can hear you. Sorry, but I will have to interrupt you uh, because, unfortunately, we are out of time. Um, so the thing is that uh, most of the person are going to receive now a link uh, to join a new room if they want to pursue the conversation. So maybe you can join also uh, this room to discuss with them in further detail. And where do we find the link? Uh, it will appear in the chatter. In the chatter. Yeah. Okay. In the chatter, and it will be the same for the for the followers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day, and thank you all for your time. Okay. All right. Bye bye. 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 Thank you.